Please rise and remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem by the Northrop Grumman employee, Johan Riley. Johan sang the national anthem at the celebratory event when Northrop Grumman was awarded the B-21 contract, and he's been a member of the B-21 team ever since. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight last gleaming? Bright stars through the perilous light. O'er those ramparts we watched were so gallant to One Raider ushers in a new era, a bomber like no other, with stealth, advanced weapon systems, and an open systems architecture built into every element. This first ever sixth generation aircraft pushes the limits of what's possible, showcasing the dedication and skills of thousands of people working to build a more secure future. This changes everything. Please welcome Kathy Warden, Chair, Chief Executive Officer, and President of Northrop Grumman. Good evening. What a wonderful way to begin an incredible and historic evening. Our national anthem with the percussion of true air power overhead. I want to thank Global Strike Command for that amazing flyover. The The bomber fleet has been a cornerstone of this nation's air power, and tonight we roll out the next generation of capability. It's my honor to welcome all of you as we prepare to unveil the most capable stealth bomber ever built. This next generation aircraft 
defines what this nation is capable of when we work together. We are opening a new era in technology for national defense. Digitally designed, enabled, and maintained, the B-21 Raider represents a view into the future and brings it to the here and now. Thank you to Secretary Austin, Admiral Grady, Secretary Kendall, General Brown, Senators, and members of Congress, and elected leaders from all levels of government, all of you, for joining us tonight. Each of you is important to this program and to Northrop Grumman. I want to take a moment to recognize those who have designed and built this amazing aircraft. Our Northrop Grumman employees, our suppliers, and our U.S. Air Force partners. So please join me in a round of applause for our team. Some of them are standing behind you tonight. The team standing behind you proved once again that we can lead the world in innovation and deliver to our military the technology needed to execute their mission and return home safely. We are a team inspired by a direct connection to our national security mission. That's why our industry and Air Force B-21 team pushed through the challenges of the pandemic and worked tirelessly to deliver this platform. The B-21 Raider represents this team's innovation, skill, and commitment to get the job done. Because that's what we do. We deliver and develop technology that advances engineering and science, defining what's possible for tomorrow, but bringing it to life today. The B-21 Raider changes everything. Reaffirming peace through deterrence, advancing technology, and ushering in a new paradigm in aircraft design, development, and manufacturing. With this aircraft, we're delivering the next generation of stealth technology designed for the U.S. Air Force to meet its most complex missions. With the V-21, the United States Air Force will deter and defeat threats anywhere in the world. And as the environment changes, rapid technology insertions will keep the B-21 ready to outpace those threats. I am particularly proud of our customer and industry collaboration on this aircraft. It's representing a new acquisition model, underpinned by transparency and trust, accelerated through digital tools and teaming, and strengthened by our 400 suppliers across 40 states. As the most advanced stealth aircraft, it will be the backbone of U.S. air power. The world has never seen technology like the B-21. So now, I'm thrilled that the time has come for you and the world to see the B-21 Raider.
Relations B21 Raider. Please welcome Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, United States Navy Admiral Christopher Grady. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is an incredible honor to be with you tonight as the world's greatest bomber force takes the next bold steps into the future. What was once a nascent force with munitions thrown by hand from an open cockpit in World War I to a 1,500 aircraft armada launched for a single raid in World War II, America's bomber fleet is the globe's premier airborne extended deterrent. Distinguished by a legacy of innovation that has given us stealth technology, precision strike and standoff weapons, and operational agility necessary for anything that the Joint Force requires, our Air Force's bomber fleet will continue to provide airborne and air power supremacy with the B-21 Raider as the backbone of the fleet. Our long-range bombers provide the United States and our allies with effects at range and at lethality unmatched anywhere, including their ability to penetrate and to manipulate the battlefield to our advantage, their ability to remain unseen, and their ability to integrate with our allies and partners and to deliver on our commitment to provide flexible deterrent and strike options. And of course, our ability to provide airborne deterrence is made possible by the silent professionals, the airmen of the Joint Force who operate and maintain this fleet. And along with our essential partners in the industrial base, we are finding opportunities for collaboration and innovation every step of the way. These dedicated men and women, in uniform or not, stand watch on freedom's frontier during these pivotal challenging times. The credibility of our joint force depends on our ability to operate at the time and place of our choosing, to field long-range sensors and weapons, and to achieve effects in the most contested environments. The B-21 unveiled here is part of this credible joint force that will uphold the rules-based international order for the United States and all of our allies and partners for future generations. It will operate in tomorrow's high-end threat environment, and it will enable America to outmaneuver, to outpace, and to outmatch our adversaries. It will deter aggression. And if called upon, the B-21 and the men and women who fly her will be resolute, ready, and lethal on arrival to prevail in conflict. And so the B-21 Raider, in concept, concert with the Joint Forces concepts, will be poised to deliver and deter our adversaries and ensure America's decisive edge. And now, it is my honor to introduce our Secretary of Defense. He is a man of immense wisdom and incredible character, and he leads with honor, integrity, and compassion. We are fortunate to have him at the helm during this critical time in our world's history, and his leadership has been and will be pivotal as this nation, our allies and partners, and the world address complex and persistent security challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, the 28th Secretary of Defense, the Honorable Lloyd Austin III.
Well, good evening, everyone. It's great to be here on this proud day for the United States Air Force and for our country. Thanks, Admiral Grady, for that kind introduction. And thanks for your leadership of our joint force. And Kathy, congratulations to the whole team at Northrop Grumman for getting this big job done. And Let me also thank the members of Congress from both sides of the aisle for joining us and for supporting the investments that make the United States the best fighting force in the world. I also want to take a moment to honor former Secretary of Defense Ash Carter, who we lost far too soon. Now, Secretary Carter knew that the complex security threats of our changing world demanded new thinking and new capabilities. So he helped start development on this new, bar this new bomber. And we're grateful for his leadership and his legacy. And I want to recognize everyone who worked on this aircraft for the past seven years. Despite the long hours, despite the pandemic, day after day you showed up with determination and drive. So let's give the entire workforce a round of applause. By the way, I, on the way in, I noted that there were some pretty good airmen in the crowd tonight, too. It's great to see you all. Now, this Air Force bomber has been in development for seven years but its roots go back much further than that. Eighty years ago, on a cold and rainy April morning, four months after Pearl Harbor, 16 U.S. Army bomber planes took off from an aircraft carrier in the Pacific. And then Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle embarked on a daring mission. At high cost, he and his team of aviators flew more than 650 miles to strike distant enemy targets. And the Doolittle Raiders, as they came to be known, showed the strength and the reach of American air power. You know, we have many family members of those brave pilots and, and crew members here with, with us today. So thank you all for joining, joining us, and let's give them a round of applause. The audacity of the Doolittle Raiders has inspired generations of American aviators. And it's fitting that the next chapter in American air power is named in their honor. The B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber in more than three decades. It is a testament to America's enduring advantages in ingenuity and innovation and it's proof of the Department's long-term commitment to building advanced capabilities that will fortify America's ability to deter aggression today and into the future. Now, strengthening and sustaining U.S. deterrence is at the heart of our national defense strategy, and so is our uniquely American spirit of innovation and invention. And if you want to see that strategy in action, if you want to see America's enduring advantages in action, if you want to see integrated deterrence in action, well, just look at this aircraft. You know, the B-21 looks imposing. But what's under the frame and the space-age coatings is even more impressive. Let's talk about the B-21's range. No other long-range bomber can match its efficiency. It won't need to be based in theater. It won't need logistical support to hold any target at risk. Let's talk about the B-21 stealth. 
50 years of advances in low observable technology have gone into this aircraft. And even the most sophisticated air defense systems will struggle to detect a B-21 in the sky. Let's talk about the B-21's durability. You know, we really don't have a capability unless we can maintain it. And the B-21 is carefully designed to be the most maintainable bomber ever built. And let's talk about what the B-21 can deliver. The Raider is designed to deliver both conventional and nuclear mun munitions with formidable precision. So like generations of bombers before it, the B-21 will be able to support joint and coalition forces across the full spectrum of operations. And the Raider was built with an open system architecture, which makes it highly adaptable. So as the United States continues to innovate, this bomber will be able to defend our country with new weapons that haven't even been invented yet. And the B-21 is multifunctional. It can have, handle anything from gathering intel to battle management to integrating with our allies and partners. And it will work seamlessly across domains and theaters and across the joint force. And so that makes it vital to our mission to defend America and to deter aggression. And the B-21's edge will last for decades to come. America's defense will always be rooted in deterring conflict. So we are again making it plain to any potential foe. The risk and the cost of aggression far outweigh any conceivable gains. Now, we could spend all night marveling at this tremendous aircraft. But I want everyone to know and, and understand how it came together. The B-21 is a result of deep teamwork at this plant. Our Air Force pilots, maintainers, and DOD civilians have worked shoulder to shoulder with their industry counterparts. In fact, they've been on a production line here at Palmdale to assist. So the B-21 is a testament to the best of America's vibrant and diverse industrial base. You know, it's this sort of advance that makes us great, and this sort of advance doesn't just happen. It takes investment, it takes cooperation, and it takes partnership. The department is going to continue to invest in tech. We're going to bring new companies into our supplier base, and we're going to keep honing our acquisitions process to get the right capabilities before we need them. That's not always easy, but it's always vital. This bomber was built on a foundation of strong part, uh, bipartisan, part, uh, su bipartisan support in Congress. And because of that support, we will soon fly this aircraft, test it, and then move it into production. And we will build the bomber force in numbers suited to the strategic environment ahead. And finally, this aircraft was possible because of American innovation. Now, that's something deep in the American spirit. We're driven to keep pushing the limits. We're powered by the boldness of open minds and the confidence of an open society. And that's a strategic advantage that no competitor can match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is deterrence the American way. It's driven by some of America's great strengths, by the openness of our democracy, by partnerships with free enterprise that can deliver unmatched innovation, and by the outstanding men and women in uniform who freely dedicate their lives to keeping our country safe. You know, back in 1985, at a ceremony 
at the White House, President Reagan pinned a fourth star on General Doolittle's uniform. The President recalled the bravery of the Doolittle Raiders. And he said that at a time of great challenge, they had, quote, revitalized America's fighting spirit. And just a few years after that ceremony, the United States unveiled the B-2 spirit right here at this site. And the B-2 reminded the world of what American innovation and air power could do. And today, we continue that evolution in our deterrence with the first bomber of the 21st century. This isn't just another airplane. It's not just another acquisition. It is a symbol and a source of the fighting spirit that President Reagan spoke of. It's the embodiment of America's determination to defend the republic that we all love. And it's a testament to our strategy of deterrence with the capabilities to back it up every time and everywhere. That's what America does. And here at Palmdale, you have done it once again. So thanks, everyone, and may God continue to bless the United States of America. Please welcome back to the stage, Kathy Warden. Thank you, Secretary Austin. We appreciate your service, your leadership, and your vision. And thank you so much for those incredibly powerful words. On behalf of the entire Northrop Grumman team and our Air Force and industry partners, thank you all for joining us tonight. We look forward to the next steps in this program as we move into robust ground testing and toward first flight. Before we end our time together, I'd like to ask everyone to please stand, turn around, and join me in, in another round of applause for the outstanding B-21 team. This rollout signifies great progress, and we won't rest until we deliver these awesome aircraft to the United States Air Force. The next time you see this plane, it'll be in the air. Now, let's put this plane to bed.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the B-21 unveiling. Please follow ushers and security instructions to the exit.